really I don't know when we got to this point. Hmm. These are serious times we're living in, don't it? Welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. If you've never been here before, I would like for you to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget after watching the video and listening to comment, share, and subscribe as well. Make sure you subscribe the right way because if you don't, then you won't be notified when I put new videos up on this channel. So just hover over that subscribe button and just click the link or the option that says send me all uploads. All right, right into the story now. So the Bogue Heights community on the outskirts of Montego Bay, St. James was plagued, plunged into mourning on Wednesday afternoon when a popular accountant a prominent accountant who is very popular also was shot and killed by armed men when he made a desperate attempt to stop men from abducting his daughter. Now listen to all the story go. The dead man identified as 57 year old Stephen McPherson. He is of the upscale Bogue Heights community, which offers an elevated view of the western city. Now, according to reports, shortly after 4.30 p.m., McPherson's 23-year-old daughter had exited a taxi in the community and was walking home when men that were traveling in a Voxy bus and a Toyota motor car trailing them pulled up alongside her. The men began making sexual advances towards her. Hey girl, come here now. You just a bad man, why you something? Bring your body, come give me girl them kind of thing there. She ignored them and she kept on walking. However, as she was approaching her house, the men used both of the vehicles to block her path from going in. They jumped out of the vehicles with guns and they demanded, go in the vehicle, y'all. Go up in that vehicle. Demanded for her to get in the vehicle or they would shoot her. As she as he approached his home, the accountant realized that his daughter was being harassed and was crying. So as he was approaching his home, he witnessed what was happening. He drove his vehicle towards the men in an attempt, a desperate bid to rescue his daughter. However, before he was able to even exit his vehicle, one of the men opened fire on the vehicle, hitting him in the face. You see that? McPherson lost control of the vehicle, which crashed through the neighbor's fence. Now, during the commotion, his daughter managed to escape while her attackers jumped back into their vehicle and sped away. You tell me, sir, this is a normal everyday life in a Jamaica. This is something that comes in like a movie from Hollywood, like the scene of some action movie from Hollywood. Woman walking down the street, two vehicles trailing, two bag of waste man in a two vehicles trailing. Criminal elements who have nothing better to do with their time, progressive or productive, trailing, making sexual advances. She is rebuffing their sexual advances. She don't want nothing to do with them type of man that she's trying to go into her yard. They follow her into this upscale neighborhood, follow her all the way to our gate. As she was about to enter, both vehicles working together blocked her entry. This sound like some Hollywood movie something. You know, a lot of people say, boy, Jamaica nice. You know, yes, it is. Jamaica is very nice. But I keep telling people, say, Jamaica is nice for everybody. Some people, is tragedies and woes. Is their remembrance when time you said Jamaica to them. Now, when the police arrived at the location, they found McPherson slumped over the steering wheel of the crashed motor vehicle with multiple gunshot wounds. He was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced dead. You can imagine he realized what was going on and impressed gas on the vehicle. Him say, Mafia go rescue him daughter. Him say, man, gun, him girl, him girl picking him up. And these men are brave enough 
I'm sure they recognized him. I'm sure they recognized who the vehicle was. Otherwise, they would have thought it was just a passing vehicle. One of them just turned around and slammed a gunshot into the vehicle, hitting him in his face, and he lost control of the vehicle. Now, when he was found, he was found with multiple gunshot wounds, which tells me that after he crashed his vehicle into the neighbor's fence, somebody went over there and gave him more gunshots while his daughter was able to run free in all the madness. He was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The Gleaner visited the Bogue Heights community yesterday and angry residents are condemning the killing saying that Mr. McPherson was a good man who did not deserve to die in that manner. Mr. Mac was a quiet man, you know, a good man, you know. You never hear anything out of the ordinary, out of the ordinary over a female because he was a disciplined man, you know. This is what one resident told the Gleaner. It's just hard for no say them a try to rape the man daughter and through him try to rescue her, them kill him. McPherson was one of three persons that were shot and killed by gunmen in St. James between that Wednesday and that Thursday. The total tally of that number between that Wednesday and that Thursday that were shot and killed, the number was five at the end of the day. An unidentified male was shot and killed alongside Love Lane in downtown Montego Bay shortly after that happened to Mr. McPherson. While a 37-year-old Jermaine Samuels, who is a mason of Lilliput, was shot and killed in the content community near Adif Adelphi on Thursday afternoon. The latest murder brings to 68 the number of persons killed in St. James since the start of the year. And if you heard my previous video or my other videos already, that number has risen now to 70. Last year, 2019, at this time of the year, it was 72. This year is 70, two less. No big difference. Same things are going on. Criminal elements are in control of the island and the security forces are... <sighs> hmm. I don't want to talk down on the security forces because can you imagine if police and soldier wasn't around, what would happen? It's like the conversation they're having here in the U.S. where they must say defund the police. Defund the police and do what? Eh? Defund the police and do what? The people are already left at the mercy of criminals. Largely. You want them to be completely left at the mercy of criminals? We can't afford them thing there in Jamaica. We have to go deal with the corrupt police them and deal and, and take the good ones them at the same time. Now... Holy Perv says, we can't live like this man. This is terrorism. We have to get rid of criminals. Start with the bus, the port and the markets. The commissioners and the no security minister should meet with MOCA and JDF to assist the JCF and find ways to use intelligence in apprehending criminals. All hands on deck. We shouldn't wait for criminals to strike. We should be hunting them. Police should not be waiting for witnesses to come forward. They should be actively using stings to bait criminals and remove them off the streets. Criminals will not act if they know that the police are actively hunting or setting traps for them. Every home should install hidden high definition video cameras which covers their backyard and the front areas and surrounding properties, including the streets around your house. Get some dogs to alert you of intruders. Apply for your firearm permit and don't tell a soul. Learn to use it. No sense of having a big house if you can't secure your family, nor your property. Everyone must stop being naive. Come together and stop the foolishness. The life you save at this point may very well be your own. Rest in peace. Marty Perkins said, The police and police commissioner are obviously just going through the motions. Now, I used to live in a community where the gunmen sat on the same corner every single day 
with their guns. All the police had to do was come as an undercover in a bread van or with a garbage truck and they would have caught them red-handed with their guns. Instead, they always turn up in a convoy. They always make a loud announcement when they're coming through or when they plan on coming through. I've said that many times before, man. Correct. Holy Perf says, correct, Timothy Perkins. The bad guys, cops like Trinity, Lang, Adams, and the rest of them used to do that type of stuff. And that is why they were so effective and feared by criminals. Them used to do these undercover operations. Dress up and come through like taxi driver. Take a known taxi, lay down in the back of it. These kind of things. Come through with a bread van. Come through with a truck. A truck where I pull mall and cement and them thing there. Come through with a garbage truck dressed as a garbage man. Them kind of something there. The government is failing to realize that police need to be proactive and flush out the bad guys. Bad guys should be on the run constantly. Instead, the people are constantly worrying. Constantly worrying about police reduce a criminal's chance of plotting successful crimes. Trap them before they violate innocent people. If people were doing stings, we would not need so many witnesses to risk their lives to attend court to put bad guys away. Police would be the crown witnesses. Government took five cars from one drug dealer the other day. Why didn't the government give the five cars to undercover officers to pose as taxi men or other people this person might have been associated with to help to clean up the area? Why? Clean up the bus depot and ban the load among them from these areas. Government should also demolish the markets plagued by criminality and build proper markets. Install cameras with facial recognition and have police at the entrance and the exit. Everyone who enters the market over 15 should present a photo ID to police at the entrance. The ID should be used to search a wanted man database while the person is shopping in the market. The perimeter should be also secured. If something happens, then it's a matter of looking at the camera and matching a face. The security minister and the commissioner or the commission must resign. We have to start over from the top to the bottom. We are tired of both of them. Both of them are joking. Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. Like it or not. Eddie123 says, What can the commissioner of police do when human rights group and Indicom give criminals more rights than ordinary citizens? Have you ever heard any of these groups making a public appeal for a crime to end or for the citizens to turn the criminals over to the police? I might be alone in saying this, but once you are a criminal and killer, you should only have the right to prison or the cemetery. Well, I'm not going to argue that on the, uh, the accusations of in the Kamardi's other human rights groups ever not calling for people to turn over criminals and to work with them in investigations because they have and I've seen it I've seen it countless times the thing is we don't know who the pan who for side you understand sometimes you see, you see something now you go tell a police and next thing you find out that same police is involved with the something that you saw now you are in danger and if you pick up and run because them are look for you now because them say you're chatty chatty too much and them want to silence you so the people them have developed this mindset which was developed out of self-preservation. The need to preserve oneself. Me not say nothing. All when me see it, I don't see it. Mind your business. And we have been forced into this place of I, I, I and me, me, me. No longer us and we. Unfortunately, just because you have on a uniform don't automatically mean that you follow the rules of law. Indicom is essential. It is needed for oversight, is what one person said. Original Foxy Lady says, I often wonder if the PM sees these horrible news. He should act decisively and make Jamaica safe and nice again, man. 
kick out those human rights group and bring, bring back capital punishment. The only thing these criminals fear is the thought of their own neck on the gallows. State of emergencies are not working. Shaking my head. And I'm saying it again. I too do believe in bringing back the death penalty to Jamaica. You understand? But here is the thing. I don't want to see no death penalty come back until they clean up the corruption within the system. Because if they bring the death penalty back with the level of corruption that is within the system from top to bottom, we are going to be having a host of innocent people being executed for things that they did not do to cover up for who the real killer them and the people who are masterminding these crimes are. So we have to clean up first. But I am in agreement, though. Andrew Holness is like a colon man. You ever heard of him? Probably not cause both yourself and Cheryl a young bud. Well, the colon man were the original JA migrant workers who worked on the Panama Canal. Upon their return and loaded with money, they, were, they used to wear two watches, one on each hand. But them still have to look up in the sky to tell the time because them couldn't read the watches and the clocks them. This is how this person is describing Andrew Holness. I'm not describing him as that. I think our Prime Minister is a very intelligent man. I don't think anyone needs to hear me say that to know that. But I also think that him as well as those that came before him, not just him, because this has been going on for a long time, even before him. So... The only thing I fault him for is for doing the same thing that all the others have done as far as crime and violence is concerned and bringing those numbers down across the country, which is the same old, same old, which amounts to nothing. Salty says applying for firearm permit is one thing because anyone can do that, but getting it is another thing. You have to have extra cash for put under the table. I just saw the place run. Chapter 1 says, Mr. Stephen McPherson was a former schoolmate of mine. He was the one who taught me how to master the AEB principles of accounting. It's just tough to know that Steve went out like this. He is my brother's classmate, another person says. Graduating class of 1980 chapter. Hmm. Larry Thomas says, holy dictum. Yes, sir. Print this, post it on the door to the entrance of Garden House. Holy man, this is a serious matter. Again, is anyone in the corridors of power listening? Powerman392 says, Harris Chang needs to resign as National Security Minister. He has been on the job for so many years and still cannot find a solution how to get rid of these gunmen who are destroying our beautiful island and killing off our people every single day. Operation Chaos 1962 present says Black Lives Matter. Black people has done more to hold black people and the black race down than the white man has ever done. And to some extent, I cannot disagree. It took me many years to actually accept that that is so. But I cannot disagree at this point in my life. I have seen too much proof. We are our biggest hater. We are our biggest discourager. We are our biggest obstacle. Chambi says they need a law against those who work witchcraft. A solid one. An ex is attacking King me for 24 years now. He has tried shooting, burning my home, sickness, accident, taking my jobs, several minor accidents with people who can't pay me back, blocking me in every way but God grabbed me and said they can't touch you. They just caught disruptions in our lives but anyone has them, even those doing it. Now, I don't know whether it's a comment I was about X around them, don't I know, them has anything to do with this. While we have cowards as leaders, 
easily misled judges who think they live elsewhere, lawyers who think it is clever to make the police look stupid while defending these criminals, known police who will see their work as a waste of time, the hangman, remember him, will remain unemployed and the bloodletting will continue. Somebody said, get the lawyers out of the picture and just kill off these criminals, period. Bush was a genius, says, holy mackerel. My original reply was edited down to just one line. Now it's not even close to what I really said. Anyhow, you know me, bro. And my reply would have been sarcastic. Keep pounding the bastards. First of all, judges and lawyers don't make laws or are elected to lead. The anti-gang law to dismantle domestic criminal terrorist gangs who commit 70% of the country's murders has been sitting, gathering dust since 2014. Our country's criminal gangs have grown now to over 400 gangs on the small island. My goodness, man. Somebody said two vehicles. So that is how females go missing sometimes. Last seen at home. Lord, I hope these terrorists are caught or killed soon because the act is so brazen. Obviously, because that was not the predator's first kidnapping. So sad that Mr. McPherson had to lose his life trying to protect his daughter. The police know the make and the color of the vehicle. It will not be easy. But they can go through the tax registry and interview everyone. Well, let's leave it at this. It's sad. But can you imagine what would have happened to her if her father did not pull up in time? He gave his life trying to save his daughter's life because I know everybody just see gone and still jump in. He tried. Right, And he was shot before he could even get out of his car. He was shot while driving to the point where the car corralled out of control and slammed into the neighbor's fence. And him get more shot upon that. What a wicked, wicked act. Hmm? A beautiful island full with wickedness. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. All right? The girl is going to need a lot of psychological help. I shouldn't say girl because she's 20 something years old. But the young lady is going to need a lot of psychological help. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.